I'm in ultra warm heat tech, hoodie, sweatpants with like fleece lined, with breathing. Just doing my morning skincare routine. I've been loving this toner from PCA. My um, esthetician, Jessica, put me on. I am breaking out right now because I'm about to start my period any day. So I'm not looking forward to that. The things us women have to deal with. Now I need to do something with this hair. My hair is really long right now, and I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I've kind of given up on my hair a little bit. My hair has just been growing and growing, and I'm kind of bored with it. I'm also kind of in this phase where I feel like no hairstyle looks good on me. Do any of you go through that? And then I start to like tear apart everything like once i go down that hole there's no turning back but it'll start with oh my hair is like too thin and then i'll do certain hairstyles and i'm like that doesn't look good on you because your head is too big and i just start to tear myself apart i realize that it's going to be a constant practice to get to a point where i'm like fully comfortable with my appearance and who I am. And I think a big part of why I struggle with that so much is because of my job and having to be on social media and the internet and the constant comparison. Um, it's something that I do deal with. So if you are the same way, just know that you're not alone. And I feel like even the person that you view as the most beautiful person in the world is also dealing with their own insecurities and they're also comparing themselves to whoever they view as the most beautiful person. So it's this kind of like endless cycle of comparison, which I think is really sad. And I hope at some point in my 30s that I will come to fully accept all of me, but I definitely am not there and I'm not gonna sit here and act like I am. I've heard a lot of women say, you know, once you hit your 30s, you're so confident and you really like grow into your own and love who you are and who you're becoming. And uh, I'm not quite there yet, but that is something that I'm working towards. Maybe by 35, we'll see. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Copilot. It's a fitness app where you basically get your own personal trainer and it's really affordable. The whole signing up process was super easy. I got matched with a fitness coach and then we hopped on a briefing call where she really got to understand my goals and what my current fitness routine is like. You can share as much or as little as you like, but just keep in mind, the more that you share, the more they're able to support you and better assist you as your fitness coach. I am a sucker for high intensity training that is basically all I do from Monday through Friday. So something I was lacking in my current routine is more of like that recovery, chill workout that gets my body moving, but nothing too strenuous. So she created some recovery workouts for me that are mainly like Pilates style workouts because I told her I'll be doing them at home. I didn't want to add any crazy equipment, mainly just wanted to use my own body weight or add on like five pound weights. So nothing crazy. The second thing I requested was um, some quick 
short workouts for those days that I can't make it to the gym because work is too crazy. She custom created a few of those workouts from me. They range from 10 minutes to 30 minutes. So I just choose whichever one I have time for. Mostly all of them are centered around core workouts because this is the area I work out the least. I love that my coach checks in with me frequently. We're in constant communication. Sometimes I even request for additional workouts. Feel free to really communicate with your fitness coach. They're there for you. If something is too difficult, tell them. If something feels too easy, tell them. I find that communication is key. Obviously, if you ever find that your coach is not the right fit, you can switch coaches anytime on the app. One really cool feature that I love about the app is that it connects to my Apple Watch. So every time I work out, whether it's a workout that I do on the Copilot app or a workout that I do on my own at the gym, my coach will receive that information. So when she clicks on it, she can see, you know, my BPM or how many miles I ran, the calories I burned. So I really like that because it allows her to have full insight of all the workouts I'm doing on the app, outside of the app. I love how seamless I was able to integrate Copilot into my existing routine. But I also can see how this would be a wonderful way to get started with your your fitness journey if you're a beginner. You basically have your own personal trainer. So all you have to do is pull up the app. If there are equipments that you need, you grab them at the gym and then you follow the movements. And it's truly that simple. So if you guys are interested, you can click the link in the description box where you'll get a 14 day free trial with your very own personal trainer. <laughs> My favorite place.
Me and Sean's one year is coming up real soon and I'm just sitting here thinking like, where the heck has the time gone? I remember that period of time being so hectic for me. I had just moved into this home. I was talking to him and then we went on our first date and I remember him picking a restaurant really close to my house because he knew I just moved and he was being very considerate of the fact that like, I'm probably unpacking and I just thought, he was super thoughtful. One thing I really love about our relationship is how well we complement each other. And also we shared similar interests and this was a thing before we met. He was someone who has always been into, you know, prioritizing his health and wellness. And as for me, like staying active is super important to me and I'm very conscious about the things that I put into my body and just having a partner who is also aligned with that just makes being in a relationship that much easier. It feels really good to be in this relationship that feels well balanced, it feels healthy. That's what a solid relationship should feel like. It shouldn't feel um, uneasy. Of course, it takes hard work to stay in a relationship and it takes that effort, but for the most part, it just feels like home. That's the best way I can describe it. We have an exciting anniversary day planned out where we're just basically gonna have a full wellness day. We're gonna start our day with a really long run, uh, do some contrast therapy, and then treat ourselves to a really amazing dinner at Matu. I'm really looking forward to it. Way we're celebrating our one year.
All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out Copilot. Click my link in the description or you can scan the QR code and I'll see you very soon.